Mm, I've never been so glad to see anybody in my entire life. You've got problems already. Four hours until dinner and six hours of work. Divided by two, that makes three hours apiece. <laughs> How's the turkey coming? That's nice, huh? Uh, he's just fine. I gave him some crushed up breadcrumbs and apples and onions and sausage and stuff like that. And how did he like them? Let me put it to you this way. He went into the oven stuff. <laughs> so, how is the guest list shaping up? We are 11. We are going to have you and me, the most important people. Rick, who is bringing Mike. Amy, because we can't get rid of her. She lives here. Robert Scorpio and his date, the inimitable Tiffany Hill. Um, and uh, Ruby and uh, Bobby. Excuse me, but that's nine. Alice, you're counting again. Um, uh, all right, it's, uh, who did I leave out in your mouth? Oh, oh, Laura and, and, uh, uh, himself, Luke. Oh, how could I forget that? <laughs> I didn't know they were back in town. They're not, they're not. They're driving in from Beecher's Corners this afternoon. I saw you rummaging around down by the barn this morning, sir. Yeah, I thought it had me a look-see. Well, how's everything look? Well, it looks fine to me. All oh, that's high praise coming from Whip. <laughs> <laughs> to tell you the truth, I thought I'd see quite a mess. <laughs> well, tell you the truth, if you'd have taken a look about three days ago, you would have seen quite a mess. <laughs> Buford told me. He did? He didn't tell you everything, did he? Well, heck, it sounded to me like he was impressed. You're kidding. No, he was nice about it. Said you two weren't born farmers, but... Uh, you were quick learners. You're kidding. Buford said that? He the sure, Buford Hunnicutt? He sure did. He also said that he wanted two weeks' notice before you two come visiting again. Why? Why? So he could quit. to see him alive at a warehouse 34 in the waterfront Wait for further instructions tell no one or he will die frank smith never forget Thanksgiving dinner. I'm going to be having dinner with Susan. But why doesn't she have dinner with her own family? She has one relative in Port Charles, that's Alice Grant, and she's working today. Unless, of course, you'd like me to bring her here. Oh, no, 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 dear. That wouldn't be at all appropriate. No, no, I didn't think so. Well, then it's all settled. I'm having dinner with Susan. Have a happy Thanksgiving, Mother. I'm going up to see Alan Jr. Oh, did I just hear that your number one son is not going to join us for dinner? Don't be too disappointed, darling. Oh, I think one turkey at the table will be sufficient. Oh, that's such an old joke. It's like our marriage. Your wit overwhelms me. I'm going to see my son. Our son. Oh, dear. That means a, an uneven number at the table. Mm, at least he could have given us some notice. Well, don't be discouraged, Edward. There'll be plenty of guests to fill void. Yes. Nobody told me anything about guests. Lila, didn't you tell Edward? Lila has invited the charming Emma Lutz and her ultra-sophisticated husband for what? dinner. What? Those two crude oafs? Lila, how could you? Edward, they had nowhere else to go. Well, that's no excuse. 
What in the hell am I going to talk to that Claude Charlie Lutz about? By the weather, Edward. I hear that's a great icebreaker. You keep out of this. All right. Don't worry, Edward. I will talk to the Lutzes, and you and Monica can entertain Lee and Gail. And Scotty, he's going to be here, isn't he? Well, that's what Gail said. Well, great. That should round out our table of misfits perfectly. The quixotic quartermains, the loony Lutzes, uh, a recovering alcoholic, and his dutiful and charming wife. And their delightful son, Scotty, who has managed successfully to alienate the entire city of Port Charles with his annex at Luke and Laura's wedding. I got the car all packed. I guess we're ready to go. Are you sure you won't stay for the turkey? It'll be fresher here than anything you'll find in Port Charles. Oh, yeah, we know that, but, uh, you see, we promised my mom we'd have dinner with her. I understand. Yeah. Listen, you, you sure you're not going to be too lonely here all by yourselves? By ourselves? Heck, we got the Calhouns and the Colnicks coming over just like every year. Oh. <laughs> Still, you will be missed. Well, I guess this is it. I guess so. Oh, I love you. I love you. Thank you so much for everything. Oh, you're welcome. Remember, our door is always open. I know. And we're going to be back. I can guarantee you. Okay. Hey, wait. Now, you keep out of trouble now. <laughs> you too, son. Thank you. You're welcome, my love. You take care of her. Oh, hey, I plan to, baby. And, and you, you'll let us hear from you. Yeah. Yeah, phone call a week. Oh. Um, yeah. Well, good luck and drive carefully. Yeah, we will. So long. Bye, darling. Goodbye. Way to go. Bye, Boy, Bessie, keep those others warm. <laughs> Son, Tommy is an incredible actor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, too bad he won't be having dinner with us, though. Oh, why? What's up? Well, the whole team was invited to the coach's house. And what's home compared to the coach's house? Right. Oh. Sorry for the coach's wife. She's got to cook for that mob. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. And something just smells a little bit wonderful in oh, here, doesn't it? Oh, that something is the turkey. Excuse me, I've got to check on it. Uh, right, Joe, can I get you a beer? Something hot to drink? No, no, I've, uh, I've got to make a couple calls. Later. Later? Later. Well, I'm sure, I'll get it. Her pumpkin pies are known from coast to coast. Yes, I'll well, No, no, I will house. take them, dear. You do have dinner to eat, remember? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> it's no wonderful room. Remind me to save some room for those later. I will. You remind me. It's a bargain. Okay. Bye. Hey, what do we eat? Well, we're still waiting for Dan and Jesse. Uh, welcome, Rose. Uh, well, the turkey may swell, done, but it's going to be about another half hour. So how about some cider, everyone? 
one? Oh, yeah. Hi, Always. Rose, again. Oh, I'll get it. I'm, oh, I'm hi. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. I hope we're not too early. No, no, not at all. We're just in time for some cider. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Oh, thanks, Jeremy. Come on down. Well, Audrey. Audrey. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. I, I think you just made a big mistake. Mistake? Uh -huh. well, what do you mean? What he means is he's left Jeremy in the kitchen with his pies. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh, dear. Young man, get your finger out of that pie. Oh, no. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Oh, that's oh, oh. How'd it go? It was good. Yeah. But the good guys won. Well, right. that's all that matters. <laughs> Mike, darling, you have been invited next door to Timmy's house to watch that game you wanted to see. Me? Yeah. Can I go, Duck Rick? Yeah, if you get back in time for dinner, and we'll give you a call. Okay. Okay. See everyone. Goodbye, Timmy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> so Where's Ruby? Well, we kind of thought maybe she might have gone to the ball game with you. Oh, no. Well, we called her to ask her if she wanted to, but she said no, and that she was coming right over here, but that was a while ago. Mm hmm. Want to call her? Yeah, I think I should. I think so, too. Have you guys heard from Luke and Laura? About an hour ago. They went to look at the yes. ship. They ought to be here pretty soon. Did you get the inside scoop on the honeymoon? Maybe. I was kidding. <laughs> now, let's get to her. <laughs> Ruby's not answering the Thank phone. You. Probably means she's already started. She's on the way over. Thank you. How can yeah, I, I just wonder what's taking her so long to leave.